Today I'm making a command line game where you try and guess a random number between 1 and 100. So let's do a playthrough of this game so you can see what it looks like when it's completed. I usually start with 50 so I can eliminate half of the numbers, and then I'll just keep going until I get it. If you don't guess it correctly, you'll get feedback telling you if it's too high or too low, because otherwise this, this would take a really long time, probably won't be too fun either. So once you actually guess the number correctly, uh, you'll see how many attempts it took you. So it took me eight to get to 87. The first thing that I'm going to do is open my text editor and I'm using Sublime Text for this project. I'll create a Python file called numguesser.py and save it. So now I can begin writing the code for my random number guesser. And the first thing that I'd like to do is import random. Random is a Python library that contains functions for generating random numbers. Basically, that means that instead of writing code myself for spawning a random number, I'm just going to use the functions that this library provides to do that for me. I'd like to include a print statement that just introduces the user to the program, so I'll just have it say, Welcome to the random number guesser. And now I'm going to generate my random number. So I'm going to create a variable called random number. And I'll set it equal to random dot rand int one comma one hundred. So what, what I'm doing here is I'm using the rand int, which stands for a random integer function that belongs to the random library. And the parameters that I gave that function are 1 and 100, and those represent the boundaries for my number. So what this function will do is it will generate a random number that is greater than or equal to 1, and less than or equal to 100. So in addition to that variable, I'm also going to create one called guess, and I'll initialize it to none. So none is a Python keyword that means there is no value at all inside of this variable, and the guess variable is going to keep track of the user's current guess. So it makes sense for it to be initialized to none, because at this point in the program, the user hasn't yet entered a guess. I'm also going to create a variable called attempts, and that'll be initialized at zero. This will keep track of the attempts the user has made. The final variable that I'd like to include is a Boolean variable called guest, which I'll initialize to false. So this variable is going to keep track of whether or not the user has guessed the number. And to continuously ask the user to enter a new guess until they get it correct, I'm going to create a while loop. When you create a while loop, you give it a condition, and the while loop will continue executing until that condition turns false. So the condition that I gave this while loop is not guessed. And not is a logical operator that will return true if the value of guessed is false. So the first thing that I'd like to do inside this while loop is change the value of guessed and turn it into whatever the user has entered. So I'm going to use the input function with the prompt, please enter a guess between 1 and 100. And the input function will wait for the user to type something onto their keyboard and press enter, and then it will capture that value into the guest variable. I'd actually like to surround this with the int function, which will convert the input that the user types into an integer. So at this point in the program, I have a random number that I generated, and I also have a guess from the user. So what I want to do is compare that guess against the random number and see if the user got it or if they were too low or too high with their guess. So I'm going to do this by using a set of conditional statements. So the first one is going to be if guess greater than random number and if that is true, then I'll create a print statement that says guess is too high and that'll be displayed to the user so they know that they should guess lower if they want to get the number right. And my second conditional statement is going to check if the guess is too low. So I'm going to do that by typing elif. So this elif statement 
is going to say elif guess less than random number. And if that is true, then I'm going to output guess is too low to the user using the print function. And my final conditional statement is going to be an else statement, meaning that if the two conditional statements above fail to be true, then the else statement will execute. And if the program gets down to this else statement, that means that the guess is neither too large or too small, so the user got the right one. And I'll react to that by setting the value of guessed to true. So this was the variable that keeps track if the user has guessed the value yet. So once guessed is set to true, when the while loop tries to execute again, it will check its condition and it'll find that not guessed evaluates to false because not true is equal to false. So the while loop will realize that its condition for continued execution has now become false and it can no longer go on. Oh, and one more thing that I would like to add in, inside this while loop is I'd like to increment the value of attempts by one. The value of attempts is going to be equivalent to the amount of times the user has entered a guess. So indentation is very important in Python. Um, and now that I'm down here, I'm no longer going to indent everything by a tab because if I did, that would mean that the code is still going to be within the while loop. But at this point, I want this to be the code that runs when the while loop has stopped. So what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to make a print statement that tells the user that they successfully guessed the number. I'm going to write you guessed it and then dash n, which creates a new line. And on that new line, I'm going to write, it took you, comma, attempts, which will print out the value of attempts. And then another string that says to guess, comma, and then the random number that I generated. I'm going to now uh, try and run the program and see what happens. So I'm opening up my terminal and I'm going to type cd documents because that stands for change directory to my documents, which is the location where I have this file saved. And I'm going to type python3 numguesser.py, which will execute this python file. And now let me just try and uh, guess the number, see what, see what the situation is. So I, I think I'm going to just fix the spacing between 100 and the guess the user inputs because it kind of looks like a microwave to me. So I'm going to add that space and it also looks like that I forgot to write the word attempts in the output for when the user finishes guessing the number because it says it took you 7 to guess 98. So I'm just going to add the word attempts to that output and then add a space right there. So at this point, I've basically made a playable number guesser game, except the way it's written as of right now, it heavily relies on the fact that the user is just going to enter numeric values. So if the user was to type something that contained letters, like uh, if they typed cow into the program, it basically annihilates the whole entire program and kicks the user out of it by throwing a value error. And what this value error is telling us is that a cow is not a base 10 literal, and base 10 literals are 0 to 9. I want to modify this program so that it doesn't completely shut down uh, because of a cow. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the in function from this part of the code because I don't want to immediately convert anything the user types into an integer. I want to first check if the value they typed is indeed um, numeric. And then if it is, then I'll convert it into an integer. So I'm going to make another conditional statement and I'm going to say if guess dot is digit. Is digit is Python function, which checks if a value is a digit. So that'll tell me if this is numeric or not. And if it is, then I'll execute all the conditional statements below it. So as you can see, I moved everything over by a tab. I'm also going to add a line of code that converts the guess into an integer value because now I'm sure that this is an integer value so I can convert it without it throwing a value error. And I'm going to add an else statement. So if the program determines that the guess is not a digit, then this else statement will execute and it'll say invalid input, please try again. 
So now if we run this again, we'll see that if we bet on a horse, we'll get a statement that says invalid input, please try again, but it won't shut down the entire program like it did before. So I would say this is a bit better. And if you count the amount of guesses that I entered for this run of the program, you'll see that I entered seven guesses, but only six were counted as attempts. And that's because the incrementation of the attempts value only happens within the conditional statement that I added. So that's everything for today. Thank you for watching, and I really appreciate the support on the channel.